Jam on toast! Hey everybody. First, I have to apologize to John. Because he originally wanted to go see The Expendables 2. And I was like, did you see the first one? I don't think the sequel's going to be worth it. And so we looked at what was available. And I said, oh, I might be able to see this other movie. But lo and behold, I had forgotten the previous parts of the franchise. And we're just concentrating on the good bits. Like we all want to be hopeful and optimistic. So we went and saw Resident Evil Retribution. And the short sell of the movie is that Alice is on some boat. Umbrella shows up, blows the crap out of it, takes her back to some facility in which she ends up escaping with some help from Wesker and the strike team that he sends in. Uh, so she fights her way out of the entire facility with this clone that thinks she's her mother. It's decently entertaining throughout that, the whole time the Red Queen's sending biohazards after them. Um, but of course they get through it and they manage to escape this underwater facility that they're in. There's a pretty epic fight scene out in the snow, which is kind of confusing how they didn't all die from exposure given their outfits. Um, and you get to see some new interesting things they've done with the T-Virus mutations. Uh, well, let's go ahead and run the numbers. First off, uh, aesthetics. It did look pretty good. Uh, we saw it in 2D. I don't really like the 3D nonsense. I didn't like them trying to shove it down my throat during the 2D version. I really wish they'd just film it a little different and let the 3D be a bonus. Um, so I give it a 7 out of 10 because it still looked good and the ladies were very attractive. And I'm sure the guys were attractive for the ladies. It just didn't ring my bell. Um, character development. I was so mad about the movie when I was thinking about this originally, and I remembered that like I hadn't thought about character development once. They hadn't question. It hadn't crossed my mind. It hadn't crossed my mind once about character development. So I think they did it actually flawlessly. So I gave it a nine out of ten just because the movie was poor. So you do a good character development for a poor movie, and eh. Uh, Storyline, I gave a five. Um, really weak not a lot of substance to it it's they look like they built it knowing there's gonna be a lot of action and that's what's gonna be the brunt of the movie when the zombies showed up shooting guns i was a little mad at the movie right there the mvp of the movie i think undoubtedly was becky the little deaf girl her real name is ariana engineer totally cool name Com completely a cool name wonderful acting job and i love sign language. I don't know what it is, but it's great. I, I love watching anything with it. Um, my love it for the movie was one of her lines. I'm still laughing just thinking about it. <laughs> she meets the Michelle Rodriguez clone who's not a soldier and says this line, like, I met your sister. She's not a very nice person. <laughs> and I just lost it right there. It was such a funny instant lie because nothing could be worse than what that little girl <laughs> went through in that movie. And then she's deaf on top of it, every, on top of everything. Um, my hate it was probably the CG right up there with the zombies using tools. Uh, I like the original Resident Evil zombies, but you get more of a Day of the Dead plus monster mutations. Um, and you get uh, Nazi zombies using tools. My official review of it is that it's a horrible movie. You probably shouldn't bother. When you average every, average my scores out, it was a 57.5, which is a fail. And by all means, feel free to skip this. Watch it if you like that sort of action. Um, the fight scenes are pretty good, but that doesn't make an entire movie to me. Uh, but if that's your thing, more power to you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.